Earth is a blue planet because it's covered with water. Duh. About 71% of our surface is water, actually. But how much water does Earth actually have? All of Earth's water would fit in a sphere around 1,400 kilometers across, and almost 97% of that's in the oceans. Every drop of Earth's fresh water would fit in a sphere just 406 kilometers across. Most fresh water is frozen solid in glaciers and ice caps, while 30% is buried as groundwater. And just 0.3% of fresh water is on Earth's surface in lakes and rivers. Almost all the water that people and other life on Earth need every day comes from this tiny speck just 56 kilometers across. A tiny 0.007% of all the water on Earth. But what about the air? Well, at any moment, the atmosphere holds around 13,000 cubic kilometers of water. That's only about 0.001% of Earth's total water, but enough to cover all Earth's land with one inch of rain. It kinda makes you realize just how precious our H2O really is. But Earth's water story gets even crazier. Using seismic waves, scientists found an underground water source three times larger than all surface oceans combined. More than 400 kilometers into the mantle, this water exists at more than 1,000 degrees Celsius under crushing pressures. And it's not liquid, it's locked in minerals. This discovery hints at a sort of whole Earth water cycle, where water moves between the surface, atmosphere, and the mantle for huge time spans. But our planet isn't the only place we find water. Jupiter's moon Europa has twice as much water as Earth, and spherified, Europa's water looks like a wet moon. And the moon Ganymede is the ultimate water world. It's 46% liquid water, with 60 mile deep oceans buried under an ice crust 95 miles thick. And farther out, the Orion Nebula creates 60 Earth oceans of water every day. And the largest reservoir of water in the universe is a cloud around a quasar that holds 140 trillion times Earth's water. So water isn't rare in our universe. What is rare is finding it on the surface of a planet like ours, in liquid form, where life can actually use it. Kind of makes you think. Follow me for more cool science stories.